So what was your inspiration for making this project? So I was just scrolling through YouTube one day and I came across this video of someone making a really nice donut using Blender. It was more of a Blender tutorial type thing but I decided to try it without Blender. The first step of making this render was to actually model the donuts in the mobile app Prisma 3D. But then I remembered Prisma is not exactly known for its modeling tool so I went over to the 3D modeling app. Then I imported in the torus and increased the number of segments so I can be able to achieve higher level of detail. Then I tried adding in this detail by multi-selecting random vertices and scaling them out a bit to try and get that roughness but it ended up looking disgusting so I ended up using sculpting for this instead. After getting a manageable amount of roughness, I decided it was about time I duplicated the part of the donut for the icing. I'm back to the donut, I gave it a nice brown base color and using the texture paint I added in the extra details and colors. As we all know, some high quality donuts have this ridge that cuts across the donut horizontally so I decided to sculpt this in. And it looked kinda bad but there was a high chance after working on the icing it wasn't even gonna show anyway. So I exported the donuts to Prisma 3D to finish up the modeling and that was when I realized that the texture was really messed up. And at the moment I did what I thought was logical which was to go download an actual texture. And at the time I actually thought this looked really good. Which was why I left it in to go work on the icing. Which I also soon realized that I shouldn't be doing that in Prisma so I went back to the 3D modeling app. After extruding and shaping the drippy parts, I decided to add some volume by using the extrude tool. And from that point, all I had to do was to smooth out the edges using the smooth tool and export that model back into Prisma 3D. So I colored the icing purple and added some lights to the scene so I could properly set up the materials. And what you see right now is a desperate attempt to try and recreate subsurface scattering and it did not work. So I just moved on to the sprinkles. So when I had enough sprinkles, I set up the scene for rendering and as you can see I have actually changed the texture into something even worse. Then I used a scaled sphere to create a background with a nice purple color. Then I tried to make it look a little better with light. After that I did some basic animation to make the donut spin. And after working on the icing reflections and adding some more lights, I finally noticed that the back of the donut looked kinda weird. So I decided to shuffle between the textures that I had and realized that the first one actually looks better. Then I observed that the scene looked a little too plain and it needed some particles. Then I modeled in this weird shape for the base form of the particle. Then I made some copies and animated them differently. After that, the whole process was just basically making more copies with different rotational values and positions. So after I brought it into my scene, it looked a little dull so I decided to work on that. And after it was bright enough, I made even more duplicates to fill the background. So I brought in a green screen to block out the backdrop so I can render with and without the background. 